devotion, quite the notion. Yet how many can claim a mind so pure, still, and sure? Look at you, through the heavy snow you roll. Desiring that thing, no doubt. I read your fortune before you came. Care to hear? Act not and be still, thy gifts art thy ill. If you seek your own end, I shall not stop you. <gasps> I, the Keeper of the New West, welcome the Destined One. Now fly! On the lake? Therein lies the thing you seek. The lord of this land is away. Seize it now and leave. Cause your scent. When that monkey was alive, he was all about weeping and begging for help. Now, even in death, he led all you younglings right to me. This sack of mine can barely fit you all. <laughs> Kung Jing Long. Now that you are ready, go and weigh up this one for your master. <laughs> See if this monkey merits a place amongst my disciples! <laughs>
<laughs> you have chosen your way. This time, there will be no easy way out.
farewell. Boss wins and an old friend. I couldn't be happier. Join me. Snow is the best soil for poetry. <laughs> Hold it, my friend. Sit with me a while. Dark-furred, devious-natured, hunting that guai is no simple task. You do have some skills, but this land bites with the cold. Lack of readiness could be your undoing. Our reunion is destined. And so is my role to teach you this little trick. Ah, I am extraordinary, as is my flame. It shall help you in need, be it injury, weariness, or frostbite. Beast or Yaogwai, none shall dare to draw nigh. are made by our Grand Master. And you think a puny monkey can go beyond that?
Colonel. General, how could you know he's here below? Colonel? Snake? Who cares? I caught a whiff of monkey stench familiar enough for me to sound by welcome. Master valued your talents. He kept you alive beneath the pagoda for your own good. How ungrateful. Evidently, you just don't deserve the ecstasy of the new West. You want to save me. But who do the same to you? Tremor for thunder. Passage spawn bolts. These are set in their ways. Still, though, you'll never crack the gold symbol.
What took you so long? Constipation? I was nearly cooked alive in there. Move it. Blasted I saw. Wasn't even worth my second glance back in the court. Ah, the same look again. A furry coat and a pinched face. Luck's all you've got. Great, another mute. Whatever. Let's not dally. Now the turtle and I have shared a few tales. That yellow brow is not like the folks. That old monkey from Mount Guagua who asked me to back you up here to save you from his ugly tricks. He told me that once we gathered all six relics, we could bring Wukong back. Let's say I buy it for now. I'll go and catch up with him first. You take a look around. Fur-faced idiot! Why loiter there? Are we leaving or not? My old friend! You must have had it rough all these years in this shithole! Rest easy! Once we're ashore, I'll take down that blasted temple to avenge you and Brother Snake! Kid, you look suspicious. What kind of Yao Guai are you? Shh, I'm looking at that Buddha over there. See his belly button? It's so big. Me and you, we look way smaller. Buddha? Where is it? You see no Buddha because you think no Buddha. No thought, no sight. I, the sacred Gourmand, saw enough Buddhas before you were born. Foolish brat. You didn't see that coming, did you? True hearts find their path, and the Buddha is on that path. Why not worship with a true heart? The path might just show itself. Worship my hoof. Visit temples, kneel to figures. You tell no black from white. That's my master. I am fed up with all these skin-deep rites. <laughs> <laughs> no true heart. The path is sealed. With true heart, it's revealed. Chubby one, we've done the rites. Where's the path? <laughs> the path? Isn't it always there? <laughs> Don't you trick me, you bald, pot-bellied brat. All I'm seeing are mountains, no path at all. He sees wisely with faith. You are daft without it. Cut your nonsense! Oh, you must be that trickster himself, fooling us all along! Take my rake! <laughs> <laughs> Why so rude? I didn't force you to kneel! Throwing a tantrum at your age? Shame on you! Uh, you brat! Save your stupid path! I'll borrow one myself! Uh. You go on first. I'll meet you at the summit. Ooh. 
one monkey dead, and another shows up. <laughs> the face of the destined one. It will fit me just as well.
Kind sir, pause your steps and heed my story. I was a fox guy who practiced to become one of the humans. One day, I was foraging for food and found myself caught in a hunter's trap. A young scholar saved me and kept me in his home to let me heal. I couldn't move, yet my heart swelled with gratitude. I thought I could aid him in his career in return for saving my life. Little did I foresee that following a dream, he would take my life. My soul lingered, yet he left without a trace. I sought tirelessly, only to find he had become a monk in the new Thunderclap Temple. I beg you, sir, to take my fur and wear my form. Confront him and calm my sorrowful heart. He's hiding in the side hall of the temple. Kind sir, will you lead me to him? Already. For years, I prayed you'd find peace. Still, you come to take my life in penance against yours. You wouldn't understand my agony when I took your life. The Buddha sees. No such vengeance. I shall usher you to the beyond once more. For years, I will find peace. Oh, will you come to take my life in penance against yours? Yaquais 
is beyond remedy. I've brought this on myself. I heard that Buddha planted watermelons here hundreds of years ago. One bite grants prolonged life. Yet, when the cold bites all around, without your powerful spells, uh, there's no way I can find it. Someone once saw a chubby boy jump from the cliff with a watermelon in his arms. He rushed to the edge of the cliff but saw no movement down there seemed like certain death, but suddenly, he heard the boy laughing from beneath, on and on. Bewildered, he fled from the cliff. This story may offer a clue for my treasure hunt. Maybe the watermelons were planted under the cliff. Uh, don't let me keep you, sir. I will leave by myself when I feel warm enough. This story may offer a clue for my treasure hunt. Maybe the watermelons were planted under the cliff. Uh, uh, don't let me keep you, sir. I will leave by myself when I feel warm enough. Time and again I tested you, and I saw nothing but gullible goodness. <sighs> Our brother does misjudge as well. It requires no effort to trick you. You will never be the destined one. Let me help you end your sorry life. Bring them on!
nothing more. I've done as our brother asked. Till we meet again! has led you here. <laughs> Rest easy. You won't find those noisy chantings and pain screamings here. Hmm. <clears throat> A nice, ripe melon. Want a bite? Mm. Mm. It's better than you think. Sun Wukong used it to trick that disciple of mine. Come. Come closer. Now you've found this place. I'll teach you a trick neither of them knows. Your hand. <laughs> Spellbinder. It hurts no foe, but binds yourself. You'll come to understand its use. An old friend of Sun Wukong came to me, wanting some peace. I led him to the Great Pagoda. Have you paid him a visit? <laughs> they say you are the destined one. But if destiny is set, what difference do our actions make? Ages ago, Jin Janzo and I were peers. Ever questioning with goodwill, he was. His nature made him question the supremacy of us beyond mortal woe and grief. He deemed all souls could be akin to us. Why then do we tower whilst others merely kneel and offer? He asked. I told him the others are less than us. His misstep cast him back into the endless cycle. Reborn, he drew three disciples. But what did they change? One ended up a corpse, others fugitives. He too took to the shadows. <laughs> Pathetic. Those journeyers have misplaced their worship. Why bet on the Sutra, when one oneself can be a Buddha? Kneel before the Buddha of the future.
Trickster called you too. This wicked sack is much more vicious than before, nurturing such evilness. Yellowbrow must have woven Wukong's strength into it. That bastard. Join me. Let's fight our way out. I Not the police, I didn't tell us. I said, not a sense. Thou shalt kill, lest fiends instill. Thou shalt snatch a fair day in a fair match. Thou shalt snatch a fair day in a fair match. Thou shalt boast for prestige and legacy in the country. Thou shalt revel, find me Thou shalt the rich in each one the For life, what is Thank <laughs> you. 
Behold, my man, I feel your fall. How can my creation match its magnificence? for others, and in time, you shall fall by their hands. I, Yellowbrow, fight solely for myself. Rogue stole my seed sack and fled here. 
With Wukong's relic, he made it a soul-snatching vessel. He also took my look and my name to trick his old foes into vengeance. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, you pot belly! I should have figured out it was you. <laughs> <laughs> Forgive my little deception. <laughs> Stolen once, I buy it. Stolen twice, I doubt it. <laughs> Your doubt is fair. I shouldn't have underestimated his nerve. I meant to subdue him myself, but you two were swifter. Fortune favors you, Bajie. But I see great potential in this young one. He might just be... Hmm? The right monkey. Enough of this empty talk! I don't care if Yellowbrow drowns in the lake. We can't have Wukong's relic sink with him! <laughs> For that, pray <sighs> lend me that break of yours. <sighs>
tarried in the mortal world for a good while, didn't you? Speak clearly. Once again, I proved it to you, Jin Shanzu. You chose a means to an end, not to a proof. You sow chaos in hearts just for the sake of winning. How absurd and pathetic. <laughs> if not for winning, why debate over means and ends? That stone monkey merely named himself a sage, yet this altar boy dared to found his own faith and proclaim himself Buddha. Your faith is firm and will unwavering. You resisted his lures. All those who were high and mighty found their minds lost and their faith stained. But was it truly because of their devotion to Yellowbrow? <laughs> As you braved ice and snow, did the stench of shattered ego reach your nose? <laughs>